super weird for me. I am actually showing my face on camera in an art video. This is odd, but I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to start showing my face more and talk more and interact more and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing. And I will be painting this bad boy behind me. It keeps a lot of my crap that I have accumulated. The Is that a word? I have a lot of stuff that I've just pushed into these drawers and I will be painting them because it's boring, it's white and I don't, it's, it, well, it's, I like it, but I want to spice it up a little and I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I have all the books, I have watched all the movies. I wish I had the movies on DVD, but my computer can't take DVDs and I don't have a DVD player and I don't want to buy one. Yeah, but I will be painting this in Harry Potter theme. I have planned the drawers out a little bit now. I will be painting one drawer per video because otherwise this video would be hours long and I don't have the patience to edit a video that's more than an hour and a half long because it will take me months to get through that. I just, I don't want to do that, and sorry if that's not what you want from me, but I am not gonna do it. So today, I will be painting the top drawer. I actually hit it, that's impressive. Well, sort of. Um, <laughs> this is the drawer that I will be painting today, and I am so excited to get started on this project. I have procrastinated for weeks now, because I have planned to do this for a while, but I was too lazy to do it because I had to get ready in order to film the intro, which I don't get ready day to day because I clean for a living, so I don't want to put on makeup. And I have to be at work at 6 a.m. I don't want to wake up earlier than I have to. I am boring, okay? And that's why I do art, to just have some sort of excitement in my life. Some sort of color, because I am a boring person. I don't do shit. My job is cleaning. It doesn't get more boring than that. I actually like it, so I'm not complaining. So I have been talking for like 10 minutes. I think it's time to get into the part that you're probably here for, I could imagine, since you clicked on the video, you're not here to watch my face. You're here to see some painting. I am so aggressive. I am gonna start painting and I'm gonna shut up so you can enjoy that part and I'm just, I'm gonna go, bye. Time to paint. So I started off with just cleaning the surface so there weren't any dust or anything on it that it would be totally clean because you want to paint on a clean surface and I taped the edges around the drawer so I wouldn't get any paint on the sides off camera because I didn't feel like it was necessary to film that because it, it's pretty boring like you can't even see the tape in the video anyway but I just thought that I should mention it in case you decide to do the same. You can paint the sides. I just didn't want to. I want them to be white. So that's what I did. And I am using acrylics in this video. I didn't use that many colors. I used blue and white. I used a like mid-tone brown and I mixed some white into that to tone it down a little and I would add a little orange to get the warmth back because when you add white to brown it mutes it and the same with like green it really mutes the color it takes away that warmth so if you for example have a green and you add white and you don't know why it's suddenly not that vibrant just add a little yellow and it gives the warmth back but I added some orange to the brown to kind of give the warmth back and when I was 
like putting shadows on the broom. I would just add a little black to kind of darken it up a little bit. Not too much because I don't want it to be like a muddy brown, which I feel like would have happened if I had added too much. Well, muddy brown. Well, mud is brown. Well, like it grows brown, you know? And I used a little bit of yellow to the gold parts of this painting. I actually really like how it turned out and I am so excited to film the next part, which is the drawer underneath. And I can't wait to start painting on the bigger drawers. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> I have never painted on furniture before. This is my first time and it's a lot of fun. The setup of the video was pretty difficult. I had to stack books, as you can see in the video, underneath to keep the drawer up so it wasn't laying flat because then I couldn't see what I was doing. And I didn't know what angle to film and the lighting in this video is not the best. But I had to close the drapes in front of me because otherwise it would just be so light that you couldn't see anything. Um, and I didn't have a light behind me because I don't have that. So I did. I need to figure out a better way to film this in my next video because I it didn't work whatsoever. And I used a flat brush for the background. I started with a background because it's easier for me that way so I don't have to be careful going around the object when that's done, you know? So it's easier to just do that at the beginning and then go in with the object afterwards. And I used an oval brush for that. That's what I find the easiest. So I did. <laughs> And I really love how it turned out. It was a lot of fun. I did not use gesso or varnish because I don't have any. But I just ordered some and it's gonna arrive in a couple of days and I am so excited. In case you don't know what that is, gesso is something that you put underneath the paint. So before you even start painting, you would be putting that down and it's just gonna make the paint stick a little bit better to whatever you're painting. It could be a canvas, it could be furniture as I am doing in this video. It, it's just a little layer before. And then varnish is something you put on top of the paint. So when you're completely done painting and it's completely dry, make sure that the paint is dry. Otherwise it's just gonna smudge and it's not gonna be pretty. Um, and it's just a protective layer to make sure that the paint lasts a lot longer. And I will definitely be putting that on the drawer because it's, you know, I'm gonna touch it and I might bump into it at some point. And I don't want the paint to chip off or be scratched off or <laughs> whatever. So it's just a little protective layer that will be on top of the paint. That's really all I have to say about this video. I do want to mention that a video that's coming in the future uh, where I'm gonna recreate a famous painting. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you what painting it is because I know I'm gonna fail and I want to leave a little bit to the mystery. <laughs> um, I definitely think that you should subscribe and turn on the post notification because you're not going to want to miss that video because it's going to be super difficult. It's not something that I've done before and it's not the type of painting I usually do. I am so nervous and scared because I know I'm going to mess up but I don't want to mess up. But that's all I'm going to say. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did. Please give this video a thumbs up. You don't know how much that means to me. It makes me so happy every time. Just, oh, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. So please, if you like this video, show, show it some love. And I will see you next time. Bye.